Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing these LED entry lights onto a 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour. You can install these on any 2018 Honda Goldwing. A link to the PDF file with the Honda installation instructions is included in the description of this video. Disconnect the heated seat connector on the right side of the motorcycle in front of the saddlebag. Remove the 6mm Allen bolts and washers on each side of the seat at the very front. Masking tape can be used to prevent paint damage during seat removal. You begin by releasing the two nylon pins at the front of the seat. Pull up firmly on both sides at the same time. Then, begin working the seat forward and up, making sure that the connector is free. If you have upper air deflectors installed, you'll need to remove them. Remove the two 5mm bolts that hold the upper air deflectors in place. Remove the upper air deflector with the collars attached and set them aside. Remove the 5mm Allen screw that holds the arm panel in place. Then remove the plastic arm panel. The rear view mirrors are held in place with two 8mm hex bolts. Remove these using a ratchet and a socket. As you remove the second bolt, make sure you're holding the mirror firmly so it doesn't fall and damage your paint. There is a wire connected for the turn signal and you can pull that out from the fairing. You'll see the rubber boot. But you can pull this little rubber boot. You see this boot? You can just pull it back kind of inside the front of the fairing. And here you can see the connector. And if I pull up on it, it should disconnect or release. So let's try that. It's a little tricky because you have to hold the mirror with one hand. There we go. Part of that connector, you see this little, this little tab right there. If you lift up on that, and it's, it's, fortunately it's a very weak tab. It's not very strong, so it doesn't take much. The deflector panel, shown here, is held in place with two 5mm screws and a series of clips along the edge of the panel, both on the inside and the outside edge. Okay, there's a screw here and there's one up here. Once you've removed the two 5mm screws that hold the deflector in place, you can begin to release the clips. I like to start at the bottom. And if you just pull on this black plastic, it's rather flimsy and malleable. You can, you can sort of remove these clips and you'll hear some noise when you're doing it. Don't be concerned, that's just normal. You can see the clips here. If you look at the bottom of the deflector, you'll see this post and that fits into a, an opening on the shelter. That's why I like to start at the bottom and release that first. Now, you're going to do this on both sides of the bike, and you also want to, once you're finished, release this body clip uh, from the shelter. Okay, to remove this inner cowl, I want to show you where it is. If you're looking at the front of the bike, I'm looking, I'm on the actual, on the right side of the bike. You can see here, it's this plastic piece, and it runs all the way, and then it, 
actually runs up here, um, up a little higher, so it's all one piece. And it's held in place with two screws and f uh, six clips, I believe. So there's one screw here and one screw here. These are five millimeter Allen screws. And then we have a body clip here, a body clip here, a body clip here. There's three there. And then it's hard for me to get this camera back there and the light and everything, but there's, there's one right back here. And then there are two up here. Can you see those? Up there and up there. And the top one is actually easier to get out from above the bike looking down next to the handlebars. This one, the bottom one, you can get out from here. But the top one is easier to get out from above. Just go down through the uh, tunnel next to the handlebars and you'll be able to get that clip out. So I'm going to remove this and then we'll take a look at it once we get it out. The middle cowl comes off in one piece along with the radiator grill intact. There are three plastic pins on the underside of the cowl that fit into grommets. There are also a series of plastic clips that snap into place to hold the cowl. In addition, there are two 5mm Allen screws that also hold the cowl in place. The lower one has already been removed when we removed the inner cowl. On the inside of the middle cowl, just in front of the radiator, you'll find another body clip that must also be removed. Remove the 5mm screw at the top of the middle cowl. It's important to take note of this positioning pin at the very front of the cowl on the pointed part, and that fits into a hole on the front of the bike just underneath the headlight and that's why we start removing this cowl from the back not from the front. You don't want to break that pin or that hole. I like to start by releasing the grommet at the bottom at the bottom of the radiator grill and then start working those grommets out at the back pointed end of the shelter as I'm doing here and then you'll start pulling those clips loose and trust me it will be loud when they come loose. The outer air guide surrounds the right side radiator and must be removed before we can remove the top shelter. Okay, this step actually goes before we take out all these screws. We need to undo this connector right here. And there's a little tab on the back. It's actually on a, it's just on a little stay. So basically what you want to do is you just want to un. You just want to press that little tab in. I'll show it to you here in a second. And you just slide it back off of this little, this little uh, holder here. And if you look on the back of this, you can see this little tab that you press in. You see how you press that in? Now we also are going to need to remove this other little, this little clip right here, which is holding another cable that we need access to because this is also attached to a piece that we're going to be removing. So we're going to get some needle nose pliers. You just kind of press in on these two sides and it will push or pull right through that hole right there. Okay, there's another connector, a two pin connector back here and it's on another one of those little stays, those little clips. And there's a tab on the back side that we have to get to to release it. It comes up and we need to get that uh, released as well. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it a little better. See this clip right? This is the uh, connector and the little tab is going to be underneath. It's hard to get the light in there. Here's the little tab to release this connector. The reason I was struggling with it is because I thought it had to slip up over it, but it actually slips down. So when you press on this little tab right here, with your finger, slide this all down and it will come off the little um, frame piece. Okay, now we need to disconnect these because <clears throat> this part stays behind. 
And there's another tab up here. If you see that, you press that, and then these should come apart. There we go. Now we The outer air guide is held in place with several 5mm screws. These are Allen head screws. Once they're removed, you can then pull the outer air guide loose from the shelter. Okay, we have to remove this little pocket cable and it's clipped into this metal bracket. So we're going to pop this out. And once we do that, we can come down here and get the little, the little ball to release, I think. There we go. See how that cable comes right out? Remove the two 5mm Allen screws from the base of the top shelter. Remove the 5mm Allen screws and collars from the top front of the shelter. They're just under the speakers. Okay, there's two more body clips, or what I call rivets, and they're kind of right down here inside this tunnel. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's so dark right there. Now, uh, I'm trying to use my phone to get a picture of that. We've got to remove those two. You can see where they are here, kind of behind the handlebars. There's another body clip kind of hidden toward the back of the top shelter on the inside wall. And uh, it's hard to see, but you need to get that out as well. With all the body clips and screws removed, you can then carefully begin releasing all of the other plastic clips that hold in the top shelter and carefully remove it as shown. Okay, now that we have the shelter, the top shelter, laying on a towel so we don't damage the paint. We want a soft surface, either carpet or a towel. We're going to remove this little, uh, <clears throat> I guess it's like a little black cover, a little shelter cover. It's held in place with some Phillips screws. We're going to unscrew it, and that's where we're going to drill our holes for our entry lights. Carefully remove the shelter covers from the top shelter. And I used a silver Sharpie to mark uh, left and right so I'd know the difference. You can see inside here, not sure if it's a little dusty, there's actually a little marked out area where we're going to drill our hole. The Honda documentation says to drill a 13 millimeter hole, but I'm using a step bit and drilling a half inch. That's very close to 13 millimeters, and it worked perfectly. Also, the step bit cuts through this plastic like butter. It really does a good job. Okay, now we're going to install this uh, grommet right here. And it actually is going to go the small side. There's a small and a large, kind of a large flange. That large flange goes on the inside. And the small opening faces out. So I've got a little bit of water, warm water with dishwashing liquid, just a little bit of, just one squirt of dishwashing liquid. It'll kind of make it slippery. And we're going to see if we can't get this to go into this opening that we just created with the step bit. You just have to kind of shove it in there. And it's going. It just takes a little bit of muscle to get it to go all the way in. Okay, I think we got it. Look at that. You have to kind of pop it up, you know, to get it to go in correctly. And that's what it should look like when it's installed correctly. Of course, we'll dry all this off. And that's where the light's gonna shine through when we get it all installed. Okay, now we're ready to mount the lights to the, uh, what they call the stays. I call them the brackets but we're going to basically mount these like this so that the, um, the light is facing away from this flange right here. 
and we're going to go ahead and mount those up. Now, the first time I did this, I did it the wrong way. Like this one I did backward, so I had, I'm going to have to take it off and start over because I'm not real good at reading directions. So, okay, now we've got this mounted. You'll be able to see here how this is going to mount to into these holes here. So we'll, it'll come in like that, and then this, this light kind of sits flat against this opening here. Okay, it's pretty obvious how these mount. You want to make sure your, your wire harness, you know, is free. But there's, there's two openings back here in the back of this, uh, I guess it's actually maybe the front, I'm not sure, but of this cover. And these little um, nuts fit right inside those holes. Now, there, b believe it or not, there is a difference between the left side and the right side. And you'll know you have the correct one in the correct side when the light, the LED, sits flush against that grommet. If that LED is raised up or not sitting flush on that grommet, you may have the wrong bracket on the wrong side. So swap them and see if it doesn't fit better. And these mount, if you turn this around, right here, you can get and use these hex screws to go in and that's how we're going to mount these. Use a three millimeter Allen wrench to tighten the screws into the brackets. Okay, right side done. Now let's finish up the left side. Lights installed, go ahead and reinstall the covers into the top shelter. Here is to go slow and easy. Don't get in any hurry. These parts are a little pliable, so you can kind of move them around to get them where you need them. And you just have to kind of start snapping them in one at a time. You also want to make sure <clears throat> that all your cables and your connectors are clear and free. We'll hook these up. Once we get the shelter reconnected, we've also got this cable that we'll need to hook up. Okay, we're getting close. I've got these the front part done. I, I like to start at the front, kind of work my way back. I was able to get these down into their little clips. Now I'd like to push this down into those grommets. And they are now seated, I believe. And now we can start checking all of our clips on this side to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be with this you know, other piece down here. And then we can start putting fasteners back in. On each side of the bike, near the top front of the top shelter, you'll see the connectors for the LED lights. They're two pin connectors, and we have to remove these little dummy plugs. So you can do that from the left side and then move over to the right side. Okay, this is the dummy plug, or this is actually the connector, I should say, on the right side of the bike. And we have to remove this dummy plug. So let's go ahead and press this tab right here, and we'll just pull it apart like that. And then make sure you hang on to these uh, little dummy plugs. You never know when you might need them. Plug the connectors coming from the LED lights into the receptacles as shown above, and you're done.